Good morning. Can you tell you came to the right place? We are having so much fun. Uh, this is our final fabulous uh, segment here on City Line. And with me, I have two women uh, that I want on the desert island with me, I'm convinced, because they could make anything happen. They come from the Job Carr Cabin Museum, and they're here to talk about uh, the Tacoma Fiber Fling. Please join me in welcoming first, Holly Stewart. You are the program manager for our beloved Job Carr, Job Carr Cabin Museum. Good Say morning. That 10 times. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. And welcome back. It's so good to see you. Good to be you. back here. <laughs> my goodness, you haven't been on the couch since COVID. Uh, I think I've been back once. Once? Since then. Yeah. Okay, all right. But, that, but, but this is even while. better. Yeah. <laughs> Look who you brought with you. Ms. Karen Haas, you are, a, you are the museum volunteer extraordinaire. Oh, I'm one of many. <laughs> you are one of many. But the bar is so oh. high there. I mean, you are a walking PhD of oh, art heavens history. heavens to Betsy. Thank you. You are. See, <laughs> the fact that you even know heavens to Betsy, I love you. I love you. So what or where, Holly, for people who maybe moved here during the pandemic and haven't had a chance to really stretch their wings yet, uh, when they ask Job Carr Cabin Museum, where do I find that? What do we say? Yes, so Job Carr Cabin Museum is the little log cabin in Tacoma's Old Town Park, right at the base yes. of the 30th Street Hill. And it is a replica of the first uh, settler's home here in Tacoma. And Job Carr was the first one who had the big idea that this would be the perfect spot for a city. And oh. so we celebrate Tacoma history and all the different folks that make up our community and bring this place to life. Oh, well, God, I, that was like right out of a mission statement. That was beautiful. <laughs> so tell us about this special event that you have titled Tacoma Fiber Fling. Tacoma Fiber Fling is back this year. So last year was our first okay. year's event, and this year it is bigger and better than before. Congrats. And we are so excited. It celebrates everything about fiber. So that means things like thread and yarn and sewing and fabric, textiles and everything in between. So it's going to be a celebration of all of those different types of fiber arts. Yes. And you can try them out. Or if you have one that you love, whether it's knitting or quilting, you can bring your projects and work oh. on them together and chat with other people who like these And hobbies. can we sit in a rocking chair on the front porch and do it together? Because, you know, I, the I, chair, I grew yes. up in the South and we do everything in a rocking chair. Okay, so Karen, I, I wish the camera would have caught that look on your face. It was like you saw... Christmas morning already in oh, yes. front of you. Yes. Um, so tell us, Karen, what types of activities can visitors see and try out during that Tacoma Fiber Fling? Because fibers are everywhere. Oh, yes. Um, you will have everything from spinners taking fuzzy fibers and twisting it together to make useful yarn. You will have simple stuff. Remember these guys I that we sure used do. to do? Yeah, you have the stretchy over, under, over. Here's my um, seasonal one. And, and the plaid matches the beautiful it does. one you wear. It so much. Yes, yes. Um, so there will be quilting, there will be sewing, there will be machine. Oh, oh there's a little one doing very Look similar to my. Is, is she adorable? So, but not just stuff for little squirts, which is important. There'll be things for us big squirts too. Yeah. Uh, there will be needle felting, taking a needle and poking it through. That was the perfect pandemic one. It, it I sure do was. simple <laughs> stuff, but there will be artisans doing things. So hands-on watching and machines, everything from drop spindles to, do you know that Tacoma Tool Library has sewing machines and they have a sewing club? They'll be bringing some sewing machines. Yay! Because that's a lost art. It sewing is. Sewing is a yeah. lost art, along with mending. Oh yes. my gosh, so I can see why this is coming back for the second year. I mean, these kids are engaged. Yes. I mean, the eye-hand yes. coordination, the connection between art and math is alive and yes. well in those pictures. Absolutely. So who is it for, Karen? Because so far we've seen beautiful children, but... Can I come and mess around? Oh, absolutely. It's for all ages. I guess we could say it's for the kid and all of us, right? I think there's something about making things with your hands that 
that speaks to the heart. And maybe it's, um, maybe you're creating like these wonderful folk here are making the things for, to, to watch on TV or it's here, but it's just marvelous. Oh, I love that. So, so Holly, give us an idea of who will be performing. Because it's like I said to Mary Michael Stump when she was here talking about In the Spirit. Wow, I can't even imagine the entries and the artists that you had to uh, select from. Um, so, what, what, so who will be performing? Tell, get, drop some names for us. So we have great fiber artists, but we also have amazing local musicians who are coming because to Because music event. and fibers go together. Live music, it can't be any better right right so uh, we will start off the morning um, with uh, Daniel Harris who is a solo guitarist um, we have a wonderful duo called pass the lady back who does amazing local music folk music um, then in the middle of the event we're having a couple of theater students from Stadium High School who will be coming in costume and performing as a couple of famous historical women from Tacoma. So they will do little monologues wow. for us and just amazing students who are coming to do that. Um, and then in the afternoon, we have Jillian Mixon and Dustin Lafferty, who are both great singer-songwriters who will perform some okay, so don't, music too. Don't you two get the gold star and all the people who have helped for collaborations and localness here? That this is This is not possible without partnerships. I know. You, boy, you have really dug into that. Um, when we think about what's new this year, Karen, because the world of fibers is massive. So what, what are we going to slowly introduce our participants to that they're going to love for the rest of their life? There's going to be things that you can purchase. Okay. Not just watch, but you can also purchase. There will be fiber. There's alpaca. Oh, that's dreamy to touch. And Romney. <laughs> there will be pre-made things, felted um, masterpieces. So you can purchase things from local artists, Ooh. which is just fabulous. Yeah. And there's also a sit and sew area. So bring whatever craft you like. It can be difficult. It can be simple. <laughs> Bring your Crayolas and some paper. We were bring talking about we were. Crayolas. Yeah, bring something to create, and there will be a sit and stitch area close to the music stage, so that will be just delightful. So yes. not only do you create, you can support local artists. And, and the sit and stitch is the backbone of our history. Indeed. I mean, so many things. I often wonder if our, if our founding fathers could have done a better job if they had a sit and stitch circle with some women in there. <laughs> yes. Going, you might want to rethink this phrase. <laughs> so is there a fee, uh, Miss Holly, to attend the Tacoma Fiber Fling? This is a free event open what? to everyone to come and that is made possible because we have some amazing sponsors. So starting with Tacoma Creates and DeVita um, as well as the Old Town Music Fund um, and the Old Town Business and Professional Association. Oh, beautiful. And and that property you have. Will you tell us where you're, you said bottom of the 30th Street Hill, but if I'm going down the hill toward, um, I'm gonna say the Spar, because I love their fish and chips. They're awesome. What side of the street are you on? Yeah, so if you're heading down the hill, we are on the right side of the street. Um, and as you're going down the hill, you might see our neighbors. Anthem Coffee is right yes. there. So you can grab a coffee. There's a wonderful playground. We have beautiful tall trees. Right. So there's lots of shade in the park if it's a sunny park. day. That's what you say. It's in the park. It's in the park. So, so don't look at all the buildings that have all the gold lettering that tell us who is working and enjoying <laughs> the view. We're over here in the park where yes. all cabins belong. Last few minutes here, Miss um, Holly, what other community programs, because I am so blown away that you've partnered with Stadium High School, what other kind of good trouble are you getting into? So we love educational programs, yes. and that is really our mission, is sharing this history and Job Carr's story and opening that door to history for students, whether they're high schoolers or preschoolers. There you go. Um, or in the middle. So we do lots of education programs with elementary schools in Tacoma and beyond. Um, our traveling trunks and free field trips for students. Listen up, that teachers. We offer. Absolutely. Um, and then our newest program that we just started last spring is a traveling story time for local preschools and kindergartners. And we go out and bring um, quilts and have kids design their own fabric 
quilts and, and glue them together onto papers. And then they have a classroom quilt that they can display on their bulletin board. Wow. And you know, every age can connect with the fiber arts. I, I am blown away sitting here because if they understand a quilt, that's going to lead to conversations about who made the quilts. Did they ever put messages in quilts? Was there family history in quilts? I mean, you just don't mess with history. You just you pass it on and you teach it. Um, I want to say thank you uh, so much. Oh, God, where do I begin? The keepers of our history are huge. I mean, we have thrown out some phrases today that might even be new to people, like sewing circles and those types of things. But sitting down with people who create is um, one of the most sa sacred things I think you can do in this world because you're learning about the reason why we do what we do. So you too, thank you, thank you so much. All the artists that we couldn't get on this couch, all the people who helped programming, all the people who are, who are coming back again, who are repeat offenders, we want to say a huge thank you, but mostly to you two right now for really putting in the midnight oil and bringing this <laughs> back again. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right. You're welcome. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some really great things to think about. So go out there, be a part of the tapestry, and above all, pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care. Bye.